Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add a texture to an image. And I think you'll be surprised at how easy this is to do. All right, step one, open the texture and the image you want to add the texture to into Photoshop. You could see I have them on individual tabs. Next, we need to get that texture on top of the other image. And to do that, we're just going to use copy and paste. Hit Command or Control A to select the entire image. Command or Control C to copy it to the clipboard. Then go over to the image you want to add the texture to and hit Command or Control V to add it to the image. Now you can see it's there, but it's not sized quite right. So we need to resize it. So we're going to go into Free Transform. Hit Command or Control T to do that. And then just grab the handles and just make it larger as needed in this case just like that and then we'll click the little check mark to commit to that transformation now we need to be able to see the image below this layer and to do that we're going to go over to the right hand layers panel and go to opacity and i'm just going to dial this back and this is purely by feel and it really kind of will depend on how much of the uh, texture you want to really have show. It depends on what the background is. In this case, it's black, so the texture is going to be relatively dark. If it was a brighter background, the texture would come out lighter. So it's it varies from image to image what you would set the opacity at. And I'm going to keep it right around 43. I think that looks good. Now, we don't really want the texture on the model. We just want it mainly on the background, maybe a little bit on the model. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a layer mask to the layer of the texture. So go down here at the very bottom and click on this little icon here to add the layer mask. Now make sure you're clicked on that layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint in black on that layer mask. And what will that will do is it will kind of poke a hole through the texture and allow the image of the model to come through. Now we're going to get a brush to do that. Hit the B key on your keyboard for the brush. And we're going to go up here and change some of the attributes. Uh, we're going to make it as soft as possible. And we're going to take this opacity and we're going to dial that back to 20% or so, somewhere around 20. That's what I'd like to do. You could go a little higher, a little, uh, little lower, depending on your style. And then I mentioned we want to paint in black. So make sure black is the foreground swatch. If it isn't, just hit the X key on your keyboard to swap it. Now, I'm going to get a very large brush by hitting the right bracket key. So we'll make that quite large. We'll start out large, and then I'm going to concentrate more on her face. And you can see as I'm painting on her, it's allowing her to come through and kind of getting rid of that texture. Now I'll get a smaller brush and kind of work on her hair area over here. And I do want the texture to come through a little bit. I think it kind of looks cool that way. Just like that. Now if you make a mistake and you're going too far off like in the edge and you're making it kind of like that and you don't like that, just paint in white. So swap the swatches by hitting the X key on your keyboard. And then you could come in and undo what you just did. So we'll hit the X key again, go back to painting in black. I'm again going to get just a smaller brush and kind of work on this area a little bit over here. I want to make sure her eyes don't have texture on them. So pay particular attention to her eyes. Maybe her lips. So, I mean, you got to have to admit, this is pretty easy, right? There, are, I don't typically myself work with textures that much but on instagram there are some people that are so talented and they um especially the wildlife images and portraits they just add these textures to them especially these earth tone textures and they look gorgeous and i think you'll agree it does add quite a bit to the image there's before and there's after there's before and there's after so that is how you add a texture to an image using Photoshop. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.